Carl Russ here of Air TV. Welcome. We're leaving Quartzite. Yay. <laughs> yeah, Quartzite's good, but it's good to get out of town. Road trip. All right. This video here is the, let's see, it's 6.30 in the morning. This is the 6.30 to Yuma. <laughs> like that movie. Anyway, uh, going to go down. First stop is going to be the BLM office in Yuma. Want to get some maps? Check out some info about all these LTVAs, BLM camping, all that around the area. Also, I'm going to film the Imperial Dam LTVA. And also there's another free camp site BLM going into Yuma so this is going to be like a three video series somewhere around there so stay tuned all right here we go this is 95 south I've driven this road hundreds of times ain't a whole lot here there's a little place right up here it's called stone cabin we'll stop and film it a lot of history there. I knew some vendors years ago. They used to set up there and try to sell. I think now they closed it down. I don't know. We'll check it out. And then uh, we're going to drive through the Proving Grounds. The Yuma Proving Grounds. Which is uh, military. U.S. government. And that goes for mile after mile. Okay. This road here to the left. Here's a stone cabin. That road we just passed on the left takes you back into uh, the Kofas, Kofa Mountains. Actually, there's two or three roads that'll take you back in there. We'll be passing them as we head down to Yuma. Let's stop, check it out, fly the drone. Yeah, it's, God, over 10 years vendors used to set up here. Look at it, it's all fenced off now. history that's being forgotten. Someone left their beer bottles there. <laughs> Figures. And over there's that dirt road. We'll see it from the air. So, well, get the drone out and we'll check it out. Up we go. Hey, the moon's still up. Not much of a roof left. Look at that building. It's toast. There's the moon. A little bit of property. Down there, there's the Border Patrol check station right there. Those mountains are beautiful. There's a wildlife refuge and all that back in there, too. Kofas are big. All kind. Now there's where I need to trailer the four-wheeler down here and go check it out. Well, hopefully next month I'll get a trailer for it. There's Highway 95. What a pretty morning. Look at the colors. Look at the greenery. There's the old stone cabin. couple buildings. Talk about being out in the middle of nowhere. That's it. There's a dirt road there. Heads back. And then here's that road here. Okay. Well. Let's land. And we'll continue on down to Yuma. Ready. Probably part of the old road here too. History. It's probably the only billboard on the whole road. <laughs> Alrighty, there's the Border Patrol Station checkpoint. Everybody's got to go through there when you head north. They got them on most roads. Especially the back roads. You see them set up all over. 
Okay, we only got, oh, I don't know, 50 miles, not very far. Once again, Yuma is not that far from Quartzite. Alrighty, well, now we're on the proving grounds. And this stretch, it goes for mile after mile. See them little white signs on the right? They warn you, do not enter. Because they do like live round testing, vehicle testing, aircraft. Once in a while on Quartzite you'll hear aircraft. Not very often. Yeah, I'm looking forward to get that info from uh, the BLM office. I don't know if you remember a few videos back, I want to hit the Yuma BLM. There's one in Havasu and one in Needles. Should be able to get all the maps and info on all this area here. A side look here. That's what it looks like. Desert. <laughs> That's all government land. No trespassing. Truthfully, I don't want to go out and find any live ammunition. <laughs> also, I think General Motors has a uh, proving grounds here too. The car dealers. There's a water tower up on that hill. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Bunch of buildings. You pass buildings way back there. All government. Just entered Yuma County. We're out of La Paz. We're close to the entrance of the proving grounds. Okay, up here on the left is the road that'll take you into the Kofa Wildlife Refuge. What do they call it? Castle Dome. One of these roads, there's a museum or old town up there, too. Those are videos for another day, but uh, definitely going to explore it. Alrighty, we're almost up here to the entrance of uh, Proving Grounds. I'll stop and film. They've got some cool looking tanks and stuff. Here it is here. This is also the road you take to go back to that Imperial Dam LTVA. See the signs there? But we're going to go to Yuma first. Actually, remember this. We're going to come out this way. Look at them guns. I've always wanted to stop get a picture of them. <laughs> cool. Quartzite from here with that thing. <laughs> There's an info sign on the other one. Let's go check it out. Okay. Wow, 220 millimeter. Shoosh. 35,000 yards. Wonder how many miles that is. Look at that thing. You'd be the talk of the RV park with this baby, huh? <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright, let's get back on the road. But remember... When we film the LTVA, we'll be coming out this way. We're going to do one big loop around uh, Yuma. Okay, time to go.
yeah if you go on google maps and follow me on these uh in these next three videos you'll see where i'm at it's really not that far uh this road here to the right that takes you over to the imperial dam is right on the colorado river california arizona we're that close to the state line but we're going to go into Yuma first, BLM office, and I'll circle back around and then come up the Colorado River on a couple uh, back roads. Be a cool trip. We're taking those roads, and miles wise, that ain't that far. We're real close to Yuma. Less than, uh, I don't know, about 15 miles. To the actual town of Yuma. Now we're East Yuma. Uh, we're a lot closer, but I'm going to show you right up here, up not too far, is some free camping. There is egg fields everywhere, orchards, uh, cotton, they grow a ton of cotton. There's cotton gins. It's huge because of the river. They got water. Colorado River feeds all these fields. Big business here in Yuma. Hey, yep, here it is. Check that out. Look at this VFW building right here. Let's pull in. This is the Yuma VFW. And right next to it, there's 14 day BLM camping. Free. Free, free, free. There's an old tank, huh? My dad was a member of the VFW. Okay, right here. I see the sign. I know a lot of people that stay here. And this place gets packed. Especially in the January when the quartzite shuts down. See, 14 day camping limit. Okay, let me get parked and I'll fly the drone real quick. we go it's not real big but boy this place loads up with rvs there's a one rig deck right back there look at all the farm fields isn't that cool colorado river's right back there too there's a real good look that this is free camping blm just on the outskirts of Yuma. There's more to, we're not gonna explore too many. Uh, I'm coming back down here in November. We're gonna do an Algodonis video and other BLM campgrounds, but not this trip. There's their building. Straight out that way is East Yuma. I don't know what that is. Pretty area, huh? Look at the dirt trails. Once again, ATV. Off-road everywhere. It's insane how much you can do here. Can't wait to get some more miles in that buggy. All right, get landed. We'll head on down the road. Anyone want to show it to you? Free to use. Pull in. 14 days right here in Yuma. Or just outside of Yuma. Okay. Let's rock. Alrighty. Well, we're going to head over the BLM offices in uh, East Yuma. Yuma has grown from when I first came down here 15 years ago. It is just expanded. Huge population, military town, ag town. It is really something. I gotta stop. Let's get a picture of this uh, tank real quick. That's an old timer there, huh? Compared to that cannon we just seen back at the proving ground. 
post 8242. Just remember this uh, post here and you'll find that camp area. Alrighty. Okay, should just be right down the road. We're going to make a left and cut over towards uh, Interstate 8. Here we are. This is Fortuna Road. And just a little over a mile. We're going to make a left here. We'll run into Interstate 8 in East Yuma. BLM office, I think it was on like 30th Street, something like that. I got the, got it on the phone here. The phone is assisting me. <laughs> but I'm really on the search for good maps. BLM has them. And apps. And thank you to everyone that's been uh, recommending different apps. I'm checking them all out. Um, that's going to help a lot. Because on an app, you can actually download the map to your phone or tablet. So even if you're out in uh, off-roading, you don't have internet or cell coverage, you still got your map. That's going to help a lot. And also these BLM maps. I, if they have them here, I'll buy a few and I've seen one. They're good. They're real good ones. Okay, the phone don't want me to get on the interstate. It wants me to go on this frontage road, so we'll do that. We'll make a right here. Now in Yuma, my goodness. I couldn't even start how many RV resorts, parks, mobile home parks there are especially out in this end I have really good friends that have lived here for years just on the other side of this uh, freeway right here back behind the big old tire and uh, they've been coming here for years and years and uh, it, they showed me uh, last year when I visited them how this place has exploded with RV resorts parks I mean they're huge and they go clear from East Yuma all the way out to uh, the California side. There's RV storage, RV repair. Yuma's a big time town. Uh, you got all the stores here. You got Best Buy, all the big shops, huge Walmarts, Home Depots. Everything's here. It's a real deal. bigger than Havasu and actually it's the same distance or even a little less to come shop here than it is going up to Havasu from Quartzite so definitely check out Yuma put on your list if you want to go to Algodonas get dental work medical or just to uh, be the tourist this is where you do it too once again next month will be Algodonas videos and I'll explore some of the BLM out in California right along the border there not this trip so we're inching our ways up here we're gonna find the BLM office grab some maps and some info description there's all kinds of ways to support channel buy a cup of coffee click on the link shop on Amazon get you a t-shirt or coffee mug thanks for all the ones that have done it already thank you thank you thank you okay right up here should be according to the phone 30th Street all right should be right underneath this underpass here Look at the water. They're irrigating here. Farm fields and it stretches. We're right on the Mexico border to Yuma, this whole area.
30th. Cool. All right, let's go find them. Should be right up here on the left. It's kind of like an industrial area. But the Yuma BLM office, this office right here, controls a massive area, including quartzite. This is the enforcement. This is where you get your permits for uh, groups out in the desert. Everything happens right here. This is home base for them. And I see the flags flying. That's got to be the building. Yep, there's the signs. Okay, let me get parked. I'm going to go in and I'll put a picture up of the maps that we're going to get. There it is. Yuma Field Office. Yay, made it. Okay, I'm going to run inside real quick. See what I can get in the way of maps. And I'll be right back. Yay, score. They had maps. Well, one, a really good one. I'll show you here in a sec. Yuma Field Office. If you're down this neck of the woods, stop. They got a ton of information in there. Nice lady running the desk, too. Hey, it's called La Posa Access Guide, BLM, Yuma Office. Not the best picture, but you can see it. It's a foldable map. Fits in your glove box. It shows every detail, every BLM trail marked, everything in this whole region. Even shows where the state trust lands are. Where old mines are, everything. Five bucks. Huh? <laughs> this and an app, that's all you need. Alrighty. Well, this is my beginner's way of learning how to map myself when I'm out in the desert on my UTV. Because uh, I'm learning. I mean, right now I don't have a big fancy GPS and all that. I got my phone. And now a good map that I can actually just fold up and put inside the UTV. They're five bucks. They're well worth it. Um, I think even the Quartzite Chamber might have them. They mark them up a couple bucks, but that's okay. So anyway, get you one of these maps. It has every detail on it. Covers the huge region that they do. Even shows mines. All kinds of stuff. But all them BLM trails are marked. And you'll find your way around out there in the desert. Okay, from here we're going to head over into Yuma. That will be next video. We'll see what we can find over there. Okay, talk soon.